I got off of a plane about five and a half hours ago. Um, I rented a car. I went to see uh, Jordi's, uh, Jordi's uh, uh, attorney um, just to kind of make sure that we were on the same page. We were able to kind of uh, talk about the details of his release and how and what are we, you know, all that good stuff. So it has been, what, four years since I last saw him in, uh, in person. So I am. Um, um, and I was thinking about this feeling earlier today. I have this very overwhelming feeling knowing that my brother will be free, uh, knowing that my brother is alive, knowing that my brother is, um, is going to have justice and freedom. I think for the last two and a half months, he, have, he was given the opposite of freedom. He was given the opposite of protection. And as a matter of fact, he was thrown in the same place where they held criminals, where they're actually the same people who put him in danger in Honduras are the same people who are, are in these places, um, which is, it really, really sucks to, for him to be in, in that situation. Right now, I'm gonna go buy clothes for him. This is what I remember about Atlanta. It's so hot, it's so humid. <laughs> so we're gonna do this. No, probably not ready. <laughs> um, he, is, he will be released on literally like pants, like what you will see in people wearing in prisons basically. That in a t shirt. He's not a criminal, so he should not be dressing like that. And so we're gonna go buy some clothes for him so he can travel properly and not feel like a criminal. Did you sleep? I did, but only because I took time no PM. Don't tell anyone. Yeah. It's gonna be a good day. Hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully this will be it. <laughs> Where are you going, Samir? I'm gonna try it again to pay my brother's bond. Uh, hopefully, this time they will they would just can, they would just not. Can you unlock the door? Thank you. They would just not give me any crap. <laughs> so, thank you. Okay. <laughs> 